it's Andy, and I wanted to try out the Ahuhu markers since I wanted to try a marker with a brush tip that's for out. I decided to go and get some markers and try them out. You know what markers? This isn't about you! Alright, so I'm going to show what I got. So I got some line-up pens. And then this is the skin tone set I got. The 36 colors. Because I draw mostly humans. I don't know why you're invading yourself here. Pretty. Ooh, there's a color of splendor. I need some of a thingy. There's a... Oh, it's like plasticky, silicone clone type of thing. So you put it in between your paper in the sketchbook that you're drawing on, so it doesn't the markers doesn't leak through. Ooh, color swatch thing, and a booklet. I also got a sketchbook from a hoo hoo because I wanted to try the sketchbook as well. This is uh, from markers. Yeah, marker pads. And last but not least. I got a bigger box. These are the biggest set. This is the 216 markers. The biggest brush set because there's actually another set which is like, I think it's like 300 and something markers, but that's just chisel and bullet nib or fine nib as it's called. Excuse me, what are you doing? <laughs> you know! <coughs> I find it really cool that they come with their own case. This is a 216 brush nib and fine nib. Oh yeah, this one is the brush nib and chisel nib. The smaller one. Ooh, so many markers! Another little thingy to put in between the papers. More cards. Swatch cards. Okay, so I think I'm going to swatch them first and then draw something with them. I don't know what to draw yet. So yeah, I, I'm gonna swatch them off camera because that's a lot of swatching, so I don't know how long it'd take. On to swatching, which is gonna take forever. And after I'm done, I'll come back and do an out piece. And so I already did the sketch. Because I didn't know what to do for the sketch, so that took forever. I did a sketch of my OC. Oh hey, voiceover Andy here, attempting to do a review on the art supplies I got. All by a hoo hoo. So there's like a hoo hoo markers, a hoo hoo line out pens, and then a hoo hoo sketchbook, which they have it labeled as a marker pad. For this, it actually took me a long time to figure out what I wanted to draw, so I decided to draw my OC Iniko. She's a vampire. I made her back in, I think it was 2010. <laughs> I really liked the line out. I mean, not line out, but I really liked the card drawing pins. I really liked the drawing pins. The sketchbook paper was really smooth. I was not expecting it to be so smooth, and um, I don't really draw trees. So, yeah, say hello to my horribly drawn tree branch.
over here, this is me not realizing that the camera decided to focus on the mochas and not my drawing. So, yeah, that's fun. Thanks, camera. You're very helpful. I know I can count on you to just focus on the mochas. The paper is, I think, really good quality because I did put the sheet. It comes with, like, a plastic silicone sheet, which I'm pretty sure I showed earlier in the video. And you put it in between pages of your sketchbook so when you color on it with the mochas, if they bleed through, it goes on the sheet instead of your page. And the lovely thing is I looked at the back after finishing the drawing to see how much it bled through. And no mochas bled through to onto the silicone sheet thing. You could see it through the back of the paper, the mochas, but other than that, it passed. It didn't bleed through, which is good. So, Eniko here is one of my really rare OCs that I decided to give raspberry hair to. Why did I give her raspberry hair? I don't know. I wanted her to be different. Because <laughs> I never used that color of hair before. And I'm like, you know what? I give her raspberry hair. <laughs> so yeah, she has raspberry hair. So she has blue and black stripes, but I didn't want the sh black stripes to be not see any like folds of the clothes. So I colored it and then realized I used too light of grays, so I decided to go darker. So yeah, that's how it turned out. So technically her like shirt should be like blue and black striped, but if you just do black, you can't really do shadows and highlights with it. <laughs> so, y'all probably wondering why my OC, Eniko, is sitting in the tree. Good question. I like to know too. <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to draw her sitting on the tree branch. I just felt like drawing that. So I did. Who knows? Maybe she's hunting for prey. She is a vampire after all. Also, did I mention I really like a hoo hoo markers? This is my first time using them in the video. And I really like how they blend in that.
Also, I had no clue how to color a tree branch, so I just grabbed random browns and just did that. <laughs> I, and same with the leaves. I I don't draw branches or trees or leaves and that, so I didn't know what I was doing. I just decided to. It's like, you know what? I just color it and hopefully it turns out good. video and the drawing. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!